Hi, I'm Matt from Better Music and we're here with Bragan from Roland and we're looking at the new awesome ME80. We sell heaps of ME products and this is one of the best, easiest to use things that I have seen in ages. You must come and try this, this is awesome. Bragan, tell me about it. This comes from a long line of ME or multi-effects that Boss have released and it started back with the ME5 way back in 1987. There's been a lot of models since then, but they've all led up to the release of the ME80 at the Winter Nam 2014. Right. Now there are a whole bunch of new features on the ME80, which we're really excited and I want to tell you about. But um, right out of the box, you'll notice that we've kept the same dial-based interface here on the front of the, of the unit itself. You will notice that we've got eight foot switches now in the space that we had four. So this is taking up the real estate of four pedals now. What's great about this is that these pedals aren't rocker switches. They're actually individual foot switches, each with their own little peak, which means that there's no confusion when you're going to change your pedals in a live environment. You can feel where those peaks are and you can just depress the button on the fly. Very cool. And of course we've got the classic Boss style expression pedal here. There's a couple of little updates which we'll talk you through in a second, but that's mounted onto an all steel chassis here. These things are designed for stomping on Matt. One of the really cool features of this I have to jump in and say that I was really, really impressed with was the second effects up at the top here. I know you're going to elaborate on this, but mm. I needed to say it. Yeah, great. Just know what I wanted to say it. You can, you can have a delay pedal here and a delay pedal here. So, or a chorus pedal here and a chorus pedal here. So if you wanted to have phaser and you can't access your chorus pedal, in the modulation bank, you can have phaser and then access the chorus pedal in this second effects section up here. Similarly, down here with the phrase looper, you might want to loop a particular riff so you can jam over it. Um, you, if you do that, you can't access your, your delay. So you can put this onto phrase looper and access a delay up here. So you can double up some effects, which I think is just absolutely brilliant. I think this is, you've hit the nail on the head here. This is one of the greatest updates with the ME80 is that we do have multiple multi-effects in mm. the unit itself. Like you said, we can dial in the delay here, but it also means that we can have multiple modulations in our signal chain. Previously, like you said, we could only either have a phaser or a tremolo or a flanger. Now we can have all those things built into there. Yeah, it's really so great. It's very, very cool. And it's a doddle to use. Everything's set out like an individual pedal. And so you don't have to get like, oh, what does that one do? It's, it's really obvious um, how, to, how to select the individual effect and make the adjustments to it. So let's delve a little bit deeper into the ME80, shall we? So we have the latest COSM amp modeling built right into the ME80. This comes from the GT100 flagship multi-effects unit that we released a little while ago. That's built right into the ME80. We have two modes. We have memory mode and manual mode. Yep. Memory mode will act like individual patch settings. So each one of these bottom four buttons here will change the patches within the unit. Well, we have now have a dedicated bank up and down switch. We also have this control pedal. Control pedal can be assigned to change or add or subtract anything within your particular patch. Uh, for instance, I might like to use a bit of tremolo at one point in time. I dial in the tremolo, assign it to the control pedal. When I switch it on, the tremolo will come on. When I switch it off, the tremolo will go off. I can actually assign that control pedal to turn on or off up to seven or eight things at once. Yeah. Pretty handy. Yeah. The eighth button here allows us to switch between memory mode and manual mode, but if I hold it down, it actually, bring, for two seconds, it actually brings up a tuner that's built right into the unit. So moving into manual mode on the ME80, this turns each one of these foot switches into an individual Boss Compact pedal. It also gives us access to the preamp section uh, and manipulation of all the COSM amp models that are inside. We've got everything from acoustic simulators, there's uh, valve tweed amps in there, there's crunches, there's classic brick combos, right through to that high gain sort of stack style drive and even metal amps, they're all built into the ME80 here. Matt, what's your type, your preference? Well, let's have a listen to the, the British sort of stack. Right. That's how I like to gauge. All right, so I've dialed in stack there. I think the level should be okay. That's really cool. Now, if we look at these modulation sections here, you'll notice actually that we've got versions of the MDP technology built right into the ME80 here. Mm -hmm. So we've got a version of the multi-overtone in the modulation section, which is really cool. And we've also got 
a version of the Terra Echo or TE2, yep. uh, also built into the uh, ME80. Even further to that, when we look at these foot switches and how they work in the device, each one is assigned to one of these little white boxes here. So if I want to turn on the preamp, I just hit the preamp button. If I want to turn up the, the compression or FX1 section, I just press that button. So it's all laid out very simply. I can turn on or off whatever I want, manipulate those sounds on the fly, and I'm ready to go. I can then save it into a user patch uh, and recall it at any point in time. So moving on, let's talk about the expression pedal. Not only will it do your volumes and your wires like you mentioned before, Matt, but we've also added this new freeze function to the expression pedal. This kind of acts like a piano sustain where I can get you to play a chord yep. in heel position. Push forward and the ME80 will sustain that chord indefinitely. You can then solo over yeah, the right. top if you like. Yeah, cool. Great. And then I can rock back, play another chord, and do the same thing. This is great for practicing chord changes or just to get an overall sense or sound or build some kind of dynamic. I think it's a great little feature. Awesome, right? You yeah, can have fun with that for hours. Yeah, hours. yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. So another great update actually on the ME80, Matt, is the USB insert at the back. I can plug this into my computer now and this will give us uh, direct access to not only a librarian to be able to rearrange all our patches around, but a new thing called Boss Tone Central. At Boss Tone Central, we've got access to patches that have been created for the ME80 by world-famous guitarists. Guys like Marty Friedman, you might have heard of him. Yeah, uh, we've absolutely. Got, we've got Gus G, he's, cool. he's in there as well. And this is just the beginning. But also we've got some great guitarists from Australia as well. We've got Stewie French, Marty Haley, and even Randall Waller. They've all built patches for uh, the multi-effects units from Boss. So get in there, check them out, see what you want to download. They're all free. Uh, it's free? Yeah, absolutely free. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, for any of the uh, multi-effects units from Boss. Awesome. So come on down to Better Music and try this incredible unit out. You will be amazed. It is very cool. ME80. Thanks, Bragan. You're welcome.